endive and radicchio salad with oka cheese and an apricot vinaigrette. And this is my take on cheese course meets salad. But I'll start with the vinaigrette. I've started by soaking four dried apricots in a little warm water. I actually want to set aside some of it because the water's picked up some of that apricot flavor. But I might as well work in, while the apricots are still a little warm, a little more flavor. A little bit of lemon zest. Instead of a wine vinegar or a balsamic vinegar in the salad, I'm just simply going to use lemon juice. I'll just strain the lemon juice into my bowl here. And a little bit of mustard. A classic vinaigrette has a bit of Dijon mustard. You can use powdered if you wish. And its function isn't just that little nip of flavor, but it actually binds the acidity to the oil, so you get a creamy textured dressing. And in this case, I'm using extra virgin olive oil. But before you add the oil, you have to whisk the mustard into the vinaigrette. And then a slim stream. Since I've only added a two to one ratio, so essentially a lot less oil than a traditional vinaigrette. I need to replace that. I actually want to lighten up the dressing. So I replace a few tablespoons of oil with simply a few tablespoons of water. Stir in those apricots. Mm, look at that beautiful apricot colored dressing. A little salt and pepper. And I put in a few chopped chives. Give these just a quick little rinse. Now here's my platter. I've got some washed radicchio leaves. Here we go. And I'll cut up some of the remaining leaves. Finely shred it so it's easy to eat. And then Belgian endive. I'm just gonna put two endive leaves just as sort of a frame to the salad. And then chop this up too. And into my salad bowl. For a little bit of sweetness, I'm going to add some chopped celery. Now. And so I'll spoon some of the dressing right on here. Mm. Now it's time to add the things that I like on the cheese plate. Pear complements just about any variety of cheese. And I love pear in a salad. few nice slices on each and what I'm doing right now is actually arranging salad for two so that way I've got two complete salads I can bring to the table on a platter but then spoon the whole salad up and some grapes but to make them easier to eat in a salad I like to cut them in half and that way they take on some of the vinaigrette flavor too And before I finally get to the cheese, a little sprinkling of lightly toasted walnuts. And I've specifically chosen them to go with my Oka cheese. Just a little finish of the vinaigrette to cover over these last ingredients. Here we go. And saving the best for last, this is a beautiful cheese, a typical example of a washed, rind, aged, semi-soft cheese. You actually shape the cheese curds in a mold and you let them sit and age. And instead of actually adding salt to the cheese mixture, what they do as the cheese ages is actually wash the rind with a salt mixture. And that's what gets that beautiful orange color as it ages. And a semi-soft cheese can keep in the fridge once cut for a good 10 to 14 days. So being a nice small wheel, I think I'll cut little wedges. That way everyone gets an equal portion of the rind. And oh, please, make sure you eat that rind. It's part of the best part of the cheese itself. And that, I think, 
is a gorgeous salad. I'll have a little taste right now. Mm. Okay, and a giant piece of cheese. Mm. Honestly, that is one of my favorite cheeses. Mm. Mm.